Hello, I'm starting the vlog at lunchtime today. The oyster mushrooms are all in one lump. Look, they're still attached just as they would have grown. I think that's rather fascinating. I'm cooking a big hearty stew with lentils and all sorts of reduced to clear items in it. I've been meaning to start the vlog since I got up, but I've literally not had a minute to pick the camera up. Yesterday, I didn't film anything. Do you remember at the end of the last vlog, me and Izzy were starting to fade a bit, weren't we? We were feeling under the weather. Well, <clears throat> turns out I had a urine infection, which I'm now on antibiotics for. And Isabel, I don't know what was the matter with her, but she was unwell all day yesterday. And today she seems much, much better. And we've just been carrying on as normal. Apart from the usual maths, we've been learning about bones today as part of the human biology. Been learning about the appendicular skeleton and the axial. We watched the video lesson on Southwest Science School. We did watch it yesterday in bed but neither of us were really taking it in because we didn't feel that well. So we watched it again properly today and then I went through the revision sheet with Izzy and it's at this point that I tend to add lib as I go along. Like for instance when we were doing this bit I remembered about this game that we had and I knew that we could kind of replicate it. It's a little bit not quite right because there's some extra bits in the appendicular skeleton we missed the like the shoulder blades and the collarbone out but we kind of drew them a bit roughly the shape of them anyway axial yep there we are that's that yeah as things came up in the sheet that i was reading through we we're googling image searches and videos just to reinforce what was being taught there like for instance there was a thing about cartilage. So we did a Google image search for cartilage and I was showing her the cartilage on the end of chicken bones. Of course, we don't eat meat in this household. One of the experiments this week is to soak a bone, like a meat bone, in vinegar to get rid of all the calcium salts to demonstrate that it'll go bendy. But of course, we don't ever buy meat. So I've texted my dad and said, can you save us a meat bone for science, please? So anyway, for now, I was just showing her images on Google. We also came across osteoporosis. So we quickly looked for a YouTube video on that and found a really good one, actually. I'm setting up playlists, public playlists, in which I'm putting videos that are related to our specific courses that we're doing. They're on our page somewhere in the playlist section, so you're welcome to have a look and you'll see what we've been looking at. We've got this coming up tomorrow for biology. I'm quite looking forward to having a go at this. You've got to write all the names of the different bones. I think I'm going to handle this like a game of Kim's game. Do you remember that? When you get a tray of items and you place them all and everyone's got to look at them for a set amount of time, something like a minute or two minutes, and then put a towel over it and then try to list all the items. Well, I'm going to try and do it like that, like get her to look at it for two minutes or something and then turn it over and get her to fill that in, see how that goes. But I've got one as well, so we're going to both have a go. And then we've got to do the bones assignment, which is soaking it in vinegar. And also then there's another mini mock, which is a past paper on just this topic. So that should keep us busy. I have not timed things well at all today. Look at that, we meant to start at one, but you know what life is like. It has a tendency to get in the way and today it got in the way. Izzy has to have her blood tested quite frequently because of the medication that she's on and I had a quick flick through her blood sheets today that we get from the dermatologist to see what the dates were and realised she's got to have it tested next week. But because she's got to go back again to have another go with that self-injecting medication pen, it's clashing with the bloods clinic that we normally go to in our more local hospital. So it's like, oh no, we've got to be in two places at once. So I had to sort that out, but I've managed to get an appointment at the hospital we're going to for her to have her bloods done before stabby stabby. So that's not going to be a fun day for Izzy. It's going to be like stabby stabby times two. So I'm behind now. Juggle, juggle, juggle. Oh, and because Isabel was ill yesterday, she barely ate anything all day. Just a few crackers, really. I don't think she ate much more than that. Might have had some yoghurt. So today she's starving. So while we were doing our homeschool this morning, uh, she was working her way through quite a lot of crumpets and potato cake so now of course she's not hungry and i'm starving but the stew is taking ages to cook i might give it a little taste otherwise literally i'm gonna have to have a snack and have it later <laughs> this is the point where i have to try not to burn my tongue now oddly this contains grated carrot <laughs> there's a reason for this and the reason is when i went reduced to clear hunting late last night 
down in Tesco's. There was a great big bag of grated carrot reduced to 15 pence, so I, I snaffled that. And there's also reduced to clear green beans, which I think were 41 pence. Yeah. Mm. It's cooked enough. It would be better, but I think I might have a little bit now. And then we'll both have it for dinner as well. Izzy hates it when I do that. But since she's not actually having it for lunch, it'll be her first time of having it, so that'll be okay. Mmm, it's good. Mmm, it's very good. That stew was good. We're about to start back. Izzy's um, said that she doesn't really understand what the Great Depression was, even though we've been reading about it. So I found this video that looks quite interesting. I'll put it in our history playlist. I will if it's any good anyway. If it's rubbish, I won't. <laughs> but we'll vet it for you now. And then we're moving on to this section now, finding out all about how the Depression affected Germany. It's 2.35. We've just gone through all that history and Izzy's just gone up to do her questions now up in her room. I have been directing her to write out her history assignments by hand from scratch just because that's what you've got to do in the exam and I think you can get a false perspective of how much you can achieve in the time frame if you're typing because it's quicker isn't it? But she is doing a lot of writing for all the other subjects anyway so I think she's losing out on learning from that instant feedback from the Grammarly app that she has installed. You know, the underlining of the spelling errors and highlighting the grammatical errors. So I've said now, as of today, and also because there's so many questions in the book, and I'd like her to, to do all the exercises to really assimilate the topic. So I've suggested that for this year now, until September at least, that she does her history assignments on her laptop, but the other subjects are gonna be handwritten. While she's doing her written work now, I'm going to read through the written work that she did on Monday when I was flaked out, sleeping out like a light. <laughs> I'm going to take her some squash up. Do you know, it's a real, real continuous battle to get Isabel to drink enough. I don't know why she does it, but she's been the same since she was born. And she's constantly complaining of feeling a malaise, which I can attribute to dehydration. You are dehydrated, and here comes some squash to hydrate you. I am filming. I know. Playing with your fonts. I be talking to you, so. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I have been known. I know. I'm redoing the graph. Oh, you're doing that on the computer. To. Oh, right. Well, it did say to draw that one, but if you want to do it on the computer, it's that's fine. No, it didn't. It said make a copy. Okay, that's Which fine. She doesn't specify drawing. Oh, okay. You do it. Oh, right, well, I'll just leave you to it. For a child that says she didn't know what the depression was, she did a pretty good job then of describing the situation. The German economy collapsed in 1929 to 1930 because in America there was a trend of buying shares in companies. Some people even borrowed money from banks to buy shares. After a while, a lot of people hadn't made a profit from their shares, so they tried to sell their shares. Every time they sold their shares, the other shares went down in price. Then a lot of people couldn't pay the bank back, and America couldn't afford to buy goods from abroad. This is when they asked Germany to pay them back the money they lent Germany. Germany couldn't pay this back because America wasn't buying their things. I think she's got the idea, you know. I've just had a little idea. For the biology. I'm going to laminate this and then cut these out so that they can be laid over like that and then she can do it over and over and over and when it's coming towards the exam and she needs to revise it she can get it out and play it again. I always get funny little ideas like this. It just comes to me out of the blue. I was literally about to do the washing up and then I was like oh I know what I can do. Who needs clean crockery anyway? I hope I don't live to regret not putting this in a cardboard sleeve. Nope, it's okay, it's coming out. In the past I've put little bits in the laminator sheet without the cardboard sleeve and it's just got rolled up inside. Poor old IB's ended up fixing it. I had a little go. We haven't really learnt it properly yet, so I've guessed a couple of these and I suspect I've got a couple wrong. And those are the ones I just didn't have a clue on. Anyway, hopefully Isabel will enjoy this tomorrow. 
I hang on to money bags for little tiny flashcards because I've done quite a lot of this sort of thing over the years because Izzy really likes to physically do things. She's done her hour of history now and is on a bit of a break. Somehow or another we've got really behind on our schedule today. We were meant to start back at half past two and it's now already quarter past three. It's later now. School is all done. I've just had a bath. Isabel's gone to her swimming lesson and I I'm going to go and play my flute down in Flute Cave. But thank you so much for watching today. Do give the video a like. If you liked it, comment down any thoughts below and hit that subscribe button wherever it's gone to follow more of our adventures. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.